Today I'm having a rest day as I was busy yesterday going to the hospital to have my treatment. What's it like having chemo? It sometimes it can be quite tiring. The process of chemotherapy is fairly straightforward and the sensation of chemotherapy you know, while you're having it in certainly in my case is, is very limited. As long as he knew when he was going to get his treatment you know what his treatment was going to be he was okay it was uncertainty I think that he found most difficult to deal with. Dave had had intravenous therapy which lasted I'm trying to think what he had. Um, he used to have one lot of treatment and then he had the um, steroids were also given intravenously, yes. so it used to take about, about a couple, couple of hours. hours. Yeah. Yesterday I had um, a blood test, I had um, my chemo, I had uh, steroids, so I'm in there for about nearly a couple of hours. Two to four hours is an average time for a patient to come in as an outpatient and receive chemotherapy. The care for the patient starts here, when they come through these doors. we come in, uh, David would go and have his blood taken and then we'd come down here, um, he would put the bloods in ready to be collected uh, and then we'd check in with the receptionist and we'd sit down over here and get our books out. This is a waiting area where patients come and sit to be seen by the doctor or to come in for their chemotherapy treatment, or both. If they do have to wait for too long, then the nurse should come out of clinic and tell them how long they're waiting. Mom took me in and left me once the treatment had started. They gave me lots of coffee and a hot lunch. After lunch, I came home. Um, the clinic visits were a wonderful opportunity just to sit and read for a couple of hours. <laughs> they always had a book on the go. He managed to read Bleak House. I think it took him probably about a year to read it. Okay. We call it a blue diary in this hospital, but we give them an information booklet. There's a little bit more information on what chemotherapy is and also on the common side effects of chemotherapy. There is a chemotherapy record in the diary so that we know when the patient last had their chemotherapy and what they received. So if they pitch up anywhere, with a problem, the medical team can see what the patient has had and when. Thursday the 15th of April. Today I saw Dr. Bolan and he said that I'm now going to go back on fortnightly chemo. Over long term, you establish relationships. Uh, and uh, entering into the clinic at Yeovil and the haematology ward, is a bit like entering a new family and you all become part of what's involved, you know. Say any problem, just... Press the old red button. Yes, yeah. David had time off and went back to work part-time. Right, what company did you he, work with? He locally? worked for Summerfield in Wales. OK, right. Yeah. Right. What I found when I went back into work, just visiting, um, we would just talk about it as if as, as we treated for flu. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't taboo. So that's your second bag today? This is my yeah, this second. Is second chemotherapy. When I came for the first session, I had about three books, two papers. But, but, you, but it's nice yes. to talk to people. Because yeah. you like to talk to them, yeah. and it's nice to uh, get a feedback. Almost like a club. Yeah, I found that. Yeah. Today, I went to Yeovil District Hospital. The chemo went well. Unfortunately, there was a bit of a leakage uh, to start with, but... Uh, we managed to sort it out. The bloods, some of the bloods are up. Uh... Patients have their blood tests done before each cycle of chemotherapy. The neutrophil is the most important because that's the one that fights infection. If that is too low, we cannot proceed with treatment. He would normally have to come and have his blood taken about an hour before the appointment. A volunteer would come and usually offer us a tea or a coffee. Okay. My name's Roy Watson. I've been doing this for 13 years, I think. The blood is taken down in the phlebotomy room and I take the samples that they have got to the labs in envelopes. I've got two there. OK. The other part of the job is to collect the results when they're ready on a piece of paper. 
Your platelets have always been good. Yeah. And your bloods are very, very nice, what you did yesterday. So the white cell count is all right. So what is happening to say it's all right? And somebody's on chemo. The physical performance yeah. plus your blood investigation performance has right. to be within a normal limit. Yes. If they're low, the immune system goes down and then you tend to get infection I like see. that. If patients develop a temperature whilst they're on chemotherapy, they must not delay getting medical advice. Mm. Once or twice we, we rang the ward or I think we rang Yeovil as well.